As we all know, us people who pay attention to how we look. We often suffer from a lack of menswear aesthetics, right? Suits also follow the same set of affairs. And in this video, we will discuss type of shoulders in suits and how these could be utilized and understood so we know where to use them, how to use them, and be awesome at this. Let me know in the comments below what type of suit jackets or jacket shoulders do you prefer and do you like most? Get yourself a cup of coffee and let's go. Hello, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel where you can grow your aesthetics and your style and your menswear knowledge and your confidence by knowing how to dress to make yourself looking smart. Okay? Case in point, the historical style contrast between two countries, Italy and England, the two great countries of masculine fashion is real. When one really thinks about it, it becomes clear that the difference in style are merely the direct expression through clothing, maybe through weather as well, of each country's specific social characters. Traditionally, a stylish Brit will go to any length to abide by the rules, you know, of the pass down from father to son and remain discreet Whereas the elegant Italian will go the opposite direction and he will hone at his own individual style without any fear to break daily some rules that are consistently repeated and respected in England. You know, Sprezzatullo comes to mind first. We did the video about this. So in England, men seek discretion while their Italian counterparts like to state their individuality. English men like strictness and follow confidence. Italians express through their style a constant longing for freedom and extroversion, even bordering on extravagance. In other words, the hallmarks of each country's style are in perfect sync with its stereotypical values and lifestyle. When it comes to suits, the ideas clash in terms of fabric choice and cuts. Again, the British English gents traditionally prefer heavy fabrics, Harrison's of Edinburgh, for instance, with rather conservative patterns that leave little to the lightness and fluidity that Italians tend to seek. Things get even more complicated within the countries themselves, where style subdivisions further diversify historical unique national traits. In Italy, as we just said, two shoulders traditions prevail. They drop their Politan shoulder, which is just a different construction. Uh, itself, their Politan shoulder is divided into two different schools and the more structured and British looking Roman shoulder. At first sight, the Neapolitan shoulder is meant to look natural as a minimal padding or, or, or no padding at all. Um, and you can probably see that a lot more padding is used in a British style of jacket and coats. However, the Neapolitan shoulder is the signature of Keaton, a very high-end Italian ready-to-wear house. But really, I would like to uh, focus your attention on two shoulders that I'm actually wearing, the jacket I'm actually wearing, is the shoulder type called Spara Camica. It's a school of Neapolitan shoulder. Let's take a closer look at it. So Spalacamica School of Neapolitan Shoulder Construction, which, um, you know, roughly translates by, you know, something like shirt shoulder kind of thing. It follows the natural shapes of your body, just like a shirt normally would. This construction is typically found only in a very high ready-to-wear or Neapolitan bespoke tailoring houses. The second main type of Neapolitan shoulder is the Conrolino, which you can guess 
it's a rolled kind of shoulder. It's a very narrow and slightly pocket sleeve head and it's normally left on padded. You can clearly see in the following images that the difference between the two Napoleonton shoulders and are real and the construction of Conrolino and the Spire Camica. There is of course that Roman shoulder I've mentioned before. It tends to be a lot more structured than the previous two um, and unlike the pocket Conrolino shoulder it actually is on pleated and slightly padded. That gives that jacket more masculine, sort of even manly look. The Roman shoulder, despite its very British influence, is a, um, is a very standard um, sort of shoulder. And several Italian houses, including most prestigious ones like Brioni, are using it. Choosing a shoulder type, which is extremely important for the overall silhouette of a garment. It all goes beyond mere aesthetics. It involves strictly anatomical factors and follows a simple formula. Broad shoulders or any sort of muscular build and after spend a few hours at the gym every now and again should avoid excessive padding. Makes sense, right? Alternatively, narrow shoulders, a skinny build for more padding so we can keep that structure nice and neat. The idea is to work with your body shape. Simple isn't it? So what's your favorite type of shoulder and where do you normally go for your suits? Let me know in the comments below. And also what types of shoulders do you wear usually with your suits? Do you have any say or you just go for whatever it's available and wherever ready to wear um, companies will produce and you just don't question you just wear it? I'm wondering, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to stay stylish. Especially for you, we actually made some playlists, so have a look Click on any of those playlists, it's actually going to have lots of very interesting videos that could be of your interest. Let me know if you like it in the comments below.